What if steeping your mushroom tea is actually the worst way to consume psilocybin? We'll show you how to make mushroom tea, the science behind dramatic mushroom tea, and why it may not be the best way to prepare psilocybin mushrooms. This tutorial on how to make mushroom tea is backed by science, unlike any other guide online. Make sure to stick around for the second half of the video where we explore the research on psilocybin tea. I'm Aaron, a bioengineer and licensed psilocybin facilitator. Trip Time Essentials is dedicated to psychedelic education and harm reduction. It's not medical advice and we never encourage the use of illegal substances. Here's how to make the tea. First, you weigh out your mushroom dose using an accurate scale, preferably down to the milligram. Then you grind the mushrooms, ideally using an electric coffee grinder. However, you can absolutely use a manual herb grinder, mortar and pestle, or any other makeshift grinding method instead. Even cutting them up with a knife is okay. Once that's complete, you move the powder over to a glass. You have two different options that may yield different results. The first option is to boil your water. This can be in an electric kettle or over the stove. But keep in mind, you want this to be at 100 degrees Celsius or actively boiling while you mix it into the mushrooms. Steep it for 15 minutes or less, ideally, but when it is cool enough, consume it immediately. Even if it's a little longer than the 15 minutes, that should be okay. Nobody should be drinking boiling water. We'll explain why this temperature is so important in the science portion of the video, so stick around to find out. Here's where this gets very different from how you'd normally see somebody make tea. Option number two, boil the water, add half lemon juice and half water to your mushroom mixture, and consume when you are ready. This method does not need to be rushed due to the lemon juice preserving some of the psilocybin, and we'll get into why that is later on in the video. With either of these methods, you can totally add things like honey, other flavorings, just so that the taste is a little bit more bearable and enjoyable. And with both of these, consuming the whole mixture, powder and liquid together, will ensure you get all of the active compounds in the mushrooms. But you can strain out the material if you'd like, and actually the research later on, they did strain out the material. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below for a chance to win a free pre-trip packet. You must be subscribed, live in the USA or be in the USA, 18 years or older, and we will pick a lucky commenter on each new video released. Pre-trip is designed to soothe the stomach and calm the mind, overall promoting a smoother and deeper trip. Link in the description below. Now let's get into the science behind mushroom tea and why it may not be the best way to prepare magic mushrooms. The findings around water are different than anyone previously thought. Research from Rosity Labs analyzed different mushroom preparation methods based on the liquid that they were prepared in. The liquids they used were water at room temperature, boiling, and 80 degrees Celsius, as well as lemon juice, orange juice, and Coca-Cola. Each of these liquids were tested for psilocybin and psilocin content after having the mushrooms filtered out. When comparing the experiments of steeping mushrooms in 100 C, right, which is boiling water, versus 80 C, which is just hot water, the boiling water retained more psilocybin and more psilocin at every single interval. Looking at this chart, you'll notice that the ADC water at five minutes had very little psilocybin left, and then past that point, there was no detectable psilocybin. It had all converted to psilocin, but there was already significant degradation going on as well. At five minutes of steeping in this 80 Celsius degree water, we noticed that 84.5% of total potential psilocin was recovered, which means that there was already a loss of 15.5% of potential active psychedelic compounds. When we continue and look at 15 minutes, we see 76% recovery. At 30 minutes and 60 minutes, we see only 66% and 49% recovery. So after an hour, you lose over half of the total potential psilocin with the water at 80 degrees Celsius. Many people brew their water around this temperature and it's very important to avoid this mistake because realistically, people steep for about 15 minutes, meaning they, are, they may be losing about 25% of their dose. This is substantial. With 100 degrees Celsius or boiling, we can see that at five minutes, a little more than half of the psilocybin had been converted over to psilocin thus keeping the experience at a more traditional duration instead of it all immediately converting over to psilocin. At five minutes of boiling, it also retained 99.9% .9 of total potential psilocin, 
unlike the 84.5% at 80 degrees Celsius. This trend continues at 15 and 30 minutes, we see roughly a linear conversion of psilocybin into solution. There is still some more overall loss occurring here, with the recovery dropping to 91% and 83% at each interval. At 30 minutes is now hitting a similar amount to the loss compared to only five minutes in the 80 degrees Celsius water. Again, why we are heavily emphasizing the importance of temperature. At 60 minutes, there is no psilocybin left and only 70.2 of the total potential psilocin is still there. This boiling water method is definitely more promising than the eight degrees Celsius, but an issue is that you cannot safely consume this temperature of water after five minutes when the maximum yield is seen. Now, it is worth noting that the researchers use small 15 milliliter test tubes, so the temperature loss over 15 minutes is likely much more substantial than what it would be seen in a normal cup or mug that you use at home. This is why we propose that waiting 15 minutes should be okay because we would expect quite a bit less than 9% loss in yield. Again, noting the difference between the test tubes and a mug at home. When we take a look at room temperature water, the situation gets more alarming. This five minute mark already has only 70% of the total potential yield. By 15 minutes, that number is down to 46%. By 30 minutes, it is down to 22%. And then at one hour, it is at a whopping 4% of total potential psilocin, almost completely degraded. So if you were ever considering a room temperature tea, just throw that idea out the window. Lemon juice, on the other hand, retains all of the potential yield with the added preservation of the psilocybin itself. This is why the alternate method of adding lemon juice to the tea would be the absolute best way to make mushroom tea while including water. Now go check out our other videos on lemon tech, orange juice method, and our psilocybin deep dive. As always, elevate your trip.